here. These are the top five assault rifle loadouts in Warzone Season 5 after the mid-season update. All right, so these are my top five favorite assault rifles in Warzone Season 5 after the mid-season update right now. So let's start with number five, which is kind of a difficult one to use. So if you're not too good at controlling recoil in this game, I suggest you not use this gun. And uh, the gun we're talking about here is the EM2. We're using the agency suppressor here, the 25.8 task force, the axial arms 3x scope, the field agent grip, and the 40 round mag here. If you think the 40 round mag is too small and you need a, a bigger mag, then you can just go with the Stagnag 50 round mag here, but your ADS is going to be a lot slower here. However, this gun does hit extremely hard, but the cons are the mag size, obviously, and that it has a lot of recoil so if you don't know how to control the recoil on this gun it's going to be pretty difficult to use so that's number five here the em2 fifth favorite assault rifle in the game right now and now we're going to go on to number four here which is the xm4 this one's been a classic for a long time now everyone loves using it same build as always agency suppressor 13.5 task force the axial arms 3x scope field agent grip and for my mag here you can go with the 60 round mag if you prefer to have more ammo if you want more ads speed then you can go with the 45 round mag here but overall this gun is solid doesn't have too much recoil does some pretty decent damage on it and uh you're really you're really able to move around the map with this you're really mobile so this has been a classic for a long time in the meta for a long time and uh this would be my fourth choice for favorite as uh, favorite assault rifle in the game right now and then for number three here we're gonna go with the Vargo I actually always liked the Vargo the only problem with it is that I feel like the ADS is way too slow on it but these are the attachments here we're using the GRU suppressor the 18.6 task force axial arms 3x scope spet nas grip and the 60 round uh, drum here you can use the 45 round if you feel comfortable with having less ammo but I just use the 60 round mag and that that is probably what makes the ADS extremely slow uh, if you want faster ADS then just go with the 45 round mag but overall this gun has no recoil at all it hits so hard and it just feels like a heavy weapon to use it just feels solid when you're using it I don't really know how to explain it it just feels like a heavy weapon and doesn't have any uh, recoil at all so this is a really good gun here and then for number two here I'm going with the STG the STG has always been in the meta since uh, since it came out in Vanguard right here we're using the MX silencer the VDD 760 millimeter barrel here 3 to 6x scope uh, this scope got nerfed so if you don't want to use this anymore you can go with the uh, G16 if you're going to be playing on Rebirth Island or uh, Fortune's Keep. This is probably the better choice here because it has less visual recoil. Uh, the VDD 34S weighted stock here, M19 hand stop, 50 round drum, length in hatch grip for that recoil control and flinch resistance, slide of hand, and fully loaded. So like I said, this gun has always been good since Vanguard has come out and uh, I really enjoy using it right now. It hits hard, doesn't have too much recoil, and uh, it has a really fast reload since we're using sleight of hand. So this is a great choice to use for assault rifles right now, but nothing compares to my favorite assault rifle in the game right now, which is the Cooper Carbine here. This gun is extremely, extremely broken right now, in my opinion, uh, on Rebirth Island and Fortune's Keep. This gun literally has zero recoil, and uh, it completely destroys people extremely fast. The fire rate is extremely fast on it. The uh, There's no recoil and uh, it's just an insane assault rifle to use right now. So for the muzzle, we're using the MX Silencer 22 inch Cooper Custom 316 2.5x scope since uh, the 3 to 6x got nerfed. Cooper Custom padded here. Carver foregrip for that vertical recoil control. The 60 round drum, length in, polymer grip, height grip, and fully loaded. So like I said, this gun has absolutely no recoil. It's definitely the best assault rifle on Rebirth Island and Fortune's Keep for that mid to long range distance. If you're gonna use this gun in Caldera for super long range distance, this is not the gun to use, 
but that mid to long range distance on Fortune's Keep and Rebirth Island, this is the best assault rifle in the game, in my opinion. So yeah, these were all my builds here. Let me know what you think. What's, the, what's your favorite assault rifle? And uh, what do you think is the best assault rifle in Warzone Season 5 after the mid-season update? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Peace!